Funding for this program was made possible by Glendale Clean and Beautiful. Coming up on this episode of NSTV. Who's Glendale's Volunteer of the Year? Let's catch up with some amazing volunteers at this year's Foothill Annual Cleanup. It's all coming up on a fresh episode of NSTV. Jewel City, I'm Sandra Rodriguez. And I'm Jason Webb. Welcome to NSTV, your window to the world of programs and projects sponsored by the City of Glendale's Neighborhood Services Division, Glendale Clean and Beautiful, and our community partners. Today we would like to focus on the importance of getting involved. Civic engagement is crucial to maintaining and improving the quality of life in our city. There are many ways you can get involved and there are many ways you can have a positive impact on your community. In this episode of NSTV, we'll take you to our Foothill Community Cleanup. Plus, we have highlights of our annual Community Recognition Dinner, where some of our volunteers and community partners were honored for their work throughout the city. But first, let's join correspondent Eleanor Wacker for a special GEM Award presentation. Hi, I'm Eleanor Wacker with the Committee for Clean and Beautiful Glendale. And with me today is Katrina Luang in front of her beautiful home, her GEM Award winning home at 1234 Richard Place. Thank you for inviting us to your home, Katrina. We really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm so ecstatic about this. Uh, Katrina, could you tell me a little bit about the history of your home? Do you know what year it was built? Yes, it's built in the 1920s. And when they built the 134, they took out some of 80% of that street. And this one stay and the one across from me stay. See, oh, that's interesting. What are some of the changes that you've made to the landscaping here at your home? I started from ground zero. Oh. Ground zero meaning when I move in, it was nothing. And I believe the former owner was in the process of uh, updating the home. And, but of course, the yard was the last thing that uh, he paid attention to. So you have done a lot of work. What do you like best about living in this neighborhood, Katrina? Well, I, I never lived in Glendale before. And uh, what I like about Glendale is uh, it's a very well-run city. The location is very centrally located, and uh, I, I love this street. It's great. Well, we are very lucky to have you. And I understand you are very active in maintaining your neighborhood. What uh, motivates you to maintain it so beautifully? Uh, first of all, Jim and I love flowers and of course the pride of ownership. I, we think that the outside yard would add a lot to the house itself. We have a very you know, quiet neighborhood around here. This is a very short street. And you probably noticed that the fire department was only two blocks away. And this is their favorite daily jogging route. And uh, I would love to have my neighbors enjoying the garden and instead of passing through like a, a weed uh, infested garden. All our neighbors and even neighbors' dogs this is their favorite patch and favorite garden. Well, I can understand it because it's so beautiful. I would stop here too. <laughs> well, I would certainly like to congratulate you on behalf of the Committee for Clean and Beautiful Glendale and being recognized uh, with this Jim Award uh, for your commitment in enhancing your neighborhood. And you also get this lawn sign to place in front of your yard so that everyone that passes by will know that your home is a gem in the Jewel City. We are so proud to be part of Glendale and living in Glendale, we would love to make Glendale more beautiful and I hope everybody would do the same. 
Well, I think you certainly have done your part in helping to make Lindor more beautiful. Katrina, thank you for your time. And once again, congratulations uh, from 1234 Richard Place. I'm Eleanor Wacker for NSTV. Thanks, Eleanor. They're one of many residents who make Glendale such a great city. If you would like to nominate a home for a Gem Property Maintenance Award, please contact the Neighborhood Services Office at 818-548-3700 for more information. While pride of home ownership is one way to give back to the community, everyone can pitch in to make a positive difference in Glendale by volunteering. Let's join our Make a Difference Day volunteers at the 18th Annual Foothill Community Cleanup to see how they made the foothills sparkle. Hi, I'm Sandra Rodriguez coming to you from the 18th Annual Foothill Community Cleanup. We're expecting about 300 volunteers to join us today to help us clean up the foothills. I'd like to welcome you to the 18th Annual Foothill Community Cleanup. Uh, we have a lot of great projects for everyone to do and we're really, really grateful for the support of the community and our volunteers, you, uh, for everything that you do to help spruce up the foothills and help keep Glendale clean and beautiful. Good morning, very briefly, I'm Armin, I'm the manager of the commercial office in La Crescenta and we also recently opened an office in La Cunada. So uh, we're very proud to be one of the sponsors of this wonderful event and it's the first year we're in the foothills. Uh, first year sponsoring and I'm sure we will be in the foothills for the years to come and we'll definitely continue our sponsorship. Thank you very much for the community for being here and we're very proud to be part of this event. Okay, I'm with the, the group of volunteers at the corner of Mary and New York and they're doing a weed abatement project and their team leader is Armin Avedian from Prudential California Realty. Um, Armin, tell us a little bit about your group and what you guys are going to be doing here today. Well, it's everyone who volunteered, brought some of the kids along also, and it's for a great cause. We're cleaning up the city and we're helping out the community, so everyone volunteered their Saturday morning to come and help out, and proudly doing so. So how do you all feel about pulling weeds on your Saturday morning? Feel great, feel great. It's nice when we leave. It's going to be nice and clean. It's going to look a lot better than when we got here. So that's our goal. That's great. So who do we have here with the little ones? Is, what's your name? Bishop. And how old are you? Six. Jillian, I'm 11. Audrey, I'm 10. And do you guys go to school here in Glendale? No, we're, we're from all over. Okay, so we got volunteers from everywhere that come out to Glendale to help clean up the city. I say come out. Uh, you get breakfast in the morning, you do a little work, then you go get fed again for lunch. What better, how, what better way to spend a Saturday morning? Also, when you do this, you look at the end result and you feel good about yourself. You know, you've done some good and it's good for the community, good for your spirit. Heck, come on out, it's a blast. Doing good and expecting nothing in return, I think that's a wonderful human trait that we all have and there's plenty of wonderful businesses out there who are willing to. Maybe they're not aware of this, hopefully this will make them a little aware and next year we'll have lots and lots of companies sponsoring, volunteering and helping out. Well, we thank you all for coming out. Okay, now we're on Honolulu under the 210 freeway and with me are... My name is Shaver Brown and I'm a Wolf Cub Scout. My name is Neil Brecka and I'm a Wolf Scout too. My name is Connor and I'm a Wolf Scout too. My name is Jack Myers and I'm a Bear Cub. My name is Joey Brown and I'm an Arrow of Light Scout. My name is Jack Brecka and I'm an Arrow of Light Scout as well. I'm Noah Fessler and I'm a Weeble Scout. I'm John Moore, and I'm a Weeblow Scout, too. I'm Lainey Ann. I'm Nate Brown. I'm going to be the Cub Master of Pack 360. And I'm Jim Milley, one of the Den Leaders. Well, I'm really excited to meet you all. Nate, why don't you tell us why it's important for the Cub Scouts to come out and help with these community service projects that we're doing today? 
A big part of scouting is community service and trying to make the community better. We focus a lot on character and so anytime we get a chance to uh, provide our services and work and make the community better, we think that's a good thing for scouting to do. And we've definitely seen some of the little ones working really hard over here. I can see you're sweating a lot. Tell me what you're doing. Hoeing and taking out weeds. And how do you like it? A lot. How old are you? And Tell me, what do you think about what you're doing here today? I'm 10 years old and I'm I think this is going to be really hard, but I think it's going to be really fun and helpful for the community. And why do you think it's important for us to do things like take pulling weeds or picking up trash in, in Glendale? You know, our whole community is put together by people who care about each other and trust each other, and without that, we're not a community. And I think today is about building us as a community. I mean, this is going to look great here. They're going to put in poppy seeds on the side of this uh, freeway, which I think will be awesome. But uh, I think the uh, flowers that grow between in our relationships is what really counts. Very well said. Thank you so much for coming out. And you guys are doing a great job. And I can't wait to see the poppies in the spring. All right. Wait. Bye. 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 Well, I've been living in Glendale for 36 years now. And I love Glendale. And you know, I wanted to do something for the community. That's great. And so what did you guys do to today? Today we pulled weeds, we raked, and we made this section of the road look beautiful. And I think it's also like a testament to Glendale, the city. After 18 years of doing this, it keeps it looking nice and it makes it easy year after year. Okay, I'm with one of the, our walking groups, the Assistines from Glendale. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what does it mean to be an Assistine? Um, Assistines is like we help out people and make our community better through community service. Oh, we're cleaning up Foothill and picking up like cigarette butts and um, and trash and trimming bushes back from the sidewalk. Did you find a lot of cigarette butts? Uh, yeah, I found a lot. <laughs> and what do you guys think? I mean, it's a big problem to have cigarette butts littered all over the street, but what, what do you think when you pick up that many cigarette butts in just a few minutes? It really like puts things into perspective. Like you never realize how many like cigarette beds and trash is like clogging up our community. So it makes me like think twice about littering. We only give in like one earth, so we have to take care of it and treat it right because we only have one shot. <laughs> Michael, tell me how old you are you? Eight. So you're in third grade. Uh -huh. And uh, what did you do today? Well, I picked up. I feel like bags of trash. How many bags of trash did you fill up? Like three. So what do you think about all that trash out in, on the streets? Well, I think it's bad because the people are like littering. Throw them in the trash cans. Yeah, it's that simple. All you have to do is stop littering and throw it in the trash can. And here we are at Deke Majin Wilderness Park with Jeff Weinstein, resource specialist at the city's community services and parks department and some of his volunteers who are helping with some of the rehabilitation work here at Duke Majin Park. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're doing today? Okay. Well, the station fire burned through this park in 2009, so it's been almost two years. And what we're doing today is planting some big cone spruce trees which historically were throughout the hills and valleys of this area. So we have a group of about 70 people. Hopefully we're planting about 40 trees today. And we're also doing some weeding because we've got a lot of non-native weeds that are coming in and they're crowding out the plants that we want to get in here. So, And we also have uh, people planting some California poppies, which is our state flower. So that's the group that's with me right now. We're going up our new trail and uh, adding some color to it. Hopefully in the spring, when people go for a hike, they'll see some beautiful poppies along the path. That sounds great. Now, who do we have here? What's your name? Thomas Kenny. And it looks, what do you have in your hands? Poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. And, and what exactly are you doing with them? Um, I'm, tr um, I'm spreading them all, um, I'm spreading them on the dirt and making them plant. Oh, very good. All right, well, uh, why don't you all tell me uh, what brought you out here today? My name is Ken Duke. This is my daughter, Mackenzie. And our church group uh, wanted to do some uh, volunteer service work. We heard about this project and uh, joined in. And uh, Thomas is with our church group. And, and uh, we're just up here on a beautiful day. And thought planting poppy sounded fun. It sure is, and I can't wait till the spring to see them when they're all in bloom. He will be our judge today to, to determine who gets to go home 
with a $100 gift card to two guys from Italy, okay? Okay, this one third. All right, okay, so we got our winners. Thank you so much, Armin. Okay, so you got first place. Show us, show us your cigarette butts again. So you get a $100 gift card to two guys for, from Italy. So what do you think about all those cigarette butts that you found on the street today? People should like stop throwing cigarette butts like on the street. It's, it's in like, cause you see all these, these were all like on the street. It's so sad because many people still, you know, smoking and then throwing all their butts in the community and it's so sad. They shouldn't cigarette because it's unhealthy for the environment and they should throw their trash in the trash. Very well said, thank you so much. Right now I'm here with Steve Pierce, who's one of the board members on the Crescent Valley Chamber. And he's been doing this for about five years. Five years right. uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about how you've seen this event evolve and some of the changes in the community. Well, Sandra, thank you. It's, uh, it's just been a difference each year. Uh, each year there's less trash, and each year we have more people uh, coming to from the community to join in on this. And it's just a fun event. Gene Maluccio was telling me that when they first started doing the photo cleanup, that they had to do it twice a year because there was so much trash out there and it's obvious that people are getting the message right. and that they're starting to change their behavior and take better care of their community. Well, what you find now is people are actually walking along the boulevard and they're actually taking bags with them to pick up trash and five years ago you didn't see that and now you see that and you see kids walking along pick up trash. We have less trash around the high school. I think an event like this really sends a message to our community and people are more cognizant of the trash in our, in our community so it's a good win-win situation. With me now is uh, Mariah. She's one of our volunteers today. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you did today? Today, uh... I raked up plants and we put them in a bag to throw it away. And why do you think that was uh, important to do that? So it wouldn't be messy around the area. And I met a lot of people and it was fun working with them. I would tell them they should try because it's really fun and you can meet new people. Well, that's the end of another successful Foothill cleanup. Uh, we had an exciting time, a lot of fun, a lot of volunteers who did a really good job out in the community cleaning up, picking up litter, picking up cigarette butts, pulling weeds, planting poppy seeds, and uh, I can't wait to get out there and, and see what everybody's done. But I, on behalf of the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale, I'd like to thank you, all our volunteers, uh, for joining us at the Foothill Cleanup and I encourage you to sign up for any of our upcoming events by visiting our website at www.cleanupglendale.org. For NSTV, I'm Sandra Rodriguez and I'll see you at the next cleanup. I'm always amazed at how much a group of dedicated volunteers can accomplish in a few short hours. Duke Magian Park is looking great thanks to the volunteers who have worked to repair the damage caused by the station fire in 2009. The danger of wildfires is a scary reality, especially to those who live in the foothills and canyons. Creating a defensible space around your home is crucial to making your property fire safe. The Neighborhood Services Property Cleanup Program offers brush clearance and weed abatement services to Glendale residents at a very low cost. If you're interested in this service, please contact Julio Hernandez at 818-548-2125 for more information or to schedule a free estimate. Up next are highlights from our annual Community Recognition Dinner, where we reveal our top sponsors and volunteers. But first, let's take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Community. Environmental stewardship. Civic pride. Volunteerism. Glendale prides itself in the high quality of life it offers to everyone who lives, works, goes to school, and conducts business here. I'm Sophia Young, and I am proud to be a Glendale resident. Glendale is a beautiful city. It is nationally recognized for its exemplary community beautification and environmental education programs. Hard work and volunteers have helped make the city what it is today. Volunteerism is when people get together for a common good without expecting anything in return. In 2009, close to 62 million Americans volunteered their time to local organizations giving 8.1 billion hours of service worth approximately $162 billion to America's communities. 
volunteerism is a matter of civic pride. Check out cleanupglendale.org to learn how you can join hundreds of Glendale volunteers of all ages who are making a positive difference in this community. My name is Sophia Young and I am proud to be a Glendale volunteer. Do you have graffiti on your property? Glendale Municipal Code requires that property owners remove graffiti within 10 days. The City's Neighborhood Services Division offers property owners a convenient graffiti removal service for a minimal cost. Our one-time removal fee ranges from $50 to $150 depending on the square footage of the graffiti. For $250, Neighborhood Services will remove graffiti from your property for an entire year. With our new state-of-the-art graffiti removal trucks equipped with paint sprayers, environmentally friendly solvents, and high-powered pressure washers, we are sure to safely remove graffiti from almost any surface, including unpainted natural surfaces. You can spare yourself the aggravation and effort of removing graffiti from your property by calling Neighborhood Services at 818-548-3700 between 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m or after business hours on our graffiti removal hotline at 818-548-3726. Proceeds from this program will cover the cost of graffiti removal materials and are used to fund graffiti prevention programs. For Neighborhood Services, I'm Jakeson Webb. Everyone knows that garbage belongs in a garbage can. But in 2009, a total of 1,387,521 pounds of trash and recyclables were picked up during the California Coastal Cleanup Day. For the past five years, these numbers have grown, and for the past 24 years, cigarette butts were the most littered item. Did you know that most of the trash that ends up in the ocean is a result of urban runoff? That means that whenever someone litters in Glendale, their trash ends up in a storm drain. All Glendale storm drains lead to the Los Angeles River. The LA River empties into the ocean, our local beaches. Please, help us keep Glendale and our planet beautiful. Stop littering and adopt the neighborhood you live in. Visit cleanupglendale.org to find out how you can help. And remember, don't trash Glendale. Welcome back. The success of the programs and projects of Glendale Clean and Beautiful and Neighborhood Services depends on everyone who volunteers to participate in a variety of community events and award-winning programs throughout the year. Our community partners and sponsors are also a crucial part of our success. Community service projects like the Foothill Community Cleanup, our Adopt-a-Block program, and other events would not be possible without the amazing manpower provided by our volunteers and the donations of our sponsors. Let's join correspondent Philip Iskandar at Glendale Adventist Medical Center, where we recognize the heroes who make it all happen. Hello there, Jewel City, and welcome to Glendale's annual Community Recognition Dinner. At today's event, we will be honoring those volunteers and sponsors that give back to the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale, day in and day out, to help keep the Jewel City shining. On behalf of our committee, I would like to thank you for joining us all this evening. You know, volunteerism, you wonder what it is and what it means. And when you have volunteered, you know what it means. You feel good inside because you've given of your time for free, for nothing. I know we have over 300 different volunteer organizations in Glendale. That says something about this community. Glendale's always been a clean and beautiful city. Today I think maybe it takes more effort because we have graffiti, we have things that we didn't used to have. Though we made tremendous strides I think in those areas. And it's people like you that throughout the year give your time to help keep this community clean and beautiful and even make it better. And I can think of no better uh, worthy effort than to do that. Keep going out and recruiting more to join every year you have a big crowd here, 
It seems to grow every year. Volunteers do a lot of wonderful things, and if we're ever going to need volunteers, it's going to be in, uh, in, the, in the coming years as we face some challenges uh, as city governments and communities in California. The other thing that we're going to need is the community sponsorships that will help make the activities of, these, of, of all of you possible. Uh, you've all enjoyed a wonderful meal tonight in a wonderful setting, uh, the hospitality of which was the um, responsibility and gift from the Glendale Adventist Medical Center. Uh, getting acquainted with the community, learning about it, and I found it to be beautiful and clean. And I didn't even know who to thank, but now I do. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> and now to see that uh, I'm in a community that has that same passion, vision, and action that results in, in, uh, in that, uh, that pride, that personal pride of ownership in your community. It's great to see the young people and uh, all the activities they're doing, planting, uh, identifying their personal responsibility as citizens in their community, and I know they're gonna grow up to be just like all of you mentors that are showing them the way. And so it's just a privilege to be here, and it's great to know that Glendale uh, Adventist Medical Center has been a participant and a major sponsor of your efforts. That says, with appreciation for your years of distinguished and devoted service, committed to beautifying the city of Glendale and, the, and improving the quality of life for its residents. Thank you very much, Eleanor. With appreciation for your years of distinguished and devoted service, committed to beautifying the city of Glendale and, the, and improving the quality of life for its residents. Thank you very much, Eleanor. I'm joined now with Ms. Eleanor Wacker, recipient of the Lifetime Beautification Award. Eleanor, please tell us a little about your involvement with the Committee for Clean and Beautiful Glendale. Well, it's been a delightful time. I've been with him about six years, uh, and I've enjoyed uh, participating in the um, poster contests and in the uh, fundraiser at Summer Night on the Plaza, and of course, especially the Foothill Clean uh, um, day that we do in October on Make a Difference Day and I think one of the things that I have really enjoyed the most is uh, because I do represent the Crescenta Valley Chamber of Commerce is bringing um, a real partnership between the foothills and Greater Glendale that was perhaps a little bit lacking in the past and I think we've really come together forming a really strong bond and um, I think appreciated on both sides and it's uh, been a win-win for the Foothills and for Greater Glendale. So that's been a real, real joy for me. Eleanor, thank you very much and congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody for this award. Uh, many years ago I was watching television and a, a lot of you remember Larry Zarian and this is before he had the Larry Zarian Forum. forum. He had this thing, I think it was called uh, Ask the Mayor. And people would call in and they'd, uh, he'd be sitting at his little desk on the TV and they'd say, uh, Mayor Zarian, the tree needs to be trimmed in front of my house. He'd say, okay, I'll write that down, give me the address, we'll take care of that. Somebody else would call in and say, there's a pothole in the street out here. Oh, no problem, give me that location, we'll write it down. Public Works will be out there tomorrow. So then the phone rings and it's, this guy says, Larry, the city's got to do something. There's a bunch of trash out in front of my house in the street and on the curb. And uh, if you guys know Larry Zarian, his kind of eyebrows went up and he almost popped out of the television. And he said, listen, it's not the city's job to pick up the litter, it's your job. Everybody out there, get up off your couch right now, run out and pick up some trash. And I swear to God, I did. I ran out and looked for some trash. <laughs> And, that, and that's always stuck with me, and I think everybody in this room would agree with me. It's our job to keep our city beautiful, and I think we do have a beautiful city. Thank you. I have the opportunity to present an award to our friends from the Home Depot who have been very generous with their materials and their volunteerism. And the Home Depot has also been a platinum sponsor for the past three years for the Great American Cleanup. Um, we're very proud of them. They go on their days off on the weekends, and they've been laying um, pavement pavers throughout the garden to make it easier to access the garden plots. We appreciate their commitment to helping us improve the quality of life in Glendale, and we are very proud to present them with the Community Partner of the Year Award. I feel so honored, really, 
honored to be among you, amongst you, and to receive this award. And so thank you so much. Joining us now is the recipient of the Carol Jean Falkel Community Award, Miss Elizabeth Beto. Miss Beto, tell us a little bit about what uh, you've taken part in at Wilson Middle School that has changed the community that you live in. Well, last year uh, we started a school garden with the help of uh, a few guys. So we're very grateful to the Glendale uh, Beautification Committee and um, we've been growing some herbs and, and so forth. And this year we even added a little bit more to that. We've started composting. Excellent. So, and uh, we had about 15 to 20 volunteers last year when we put that garden together. So that was really an event. And that school gar garden flourished this last summer and during fall time, you, you would have seen it. I mean, the herbs just grew and grew and grew. The junior ambassadors and plus my own science students um, are not afraid to get their hands dirty, uh, which that's what I want them to do. Uh, touch and feel the soil that produces their food. There you go, thank volunteerism you. stemming from the schools and all the way up. Ms. Vito, thank you very much and congratulations on your award. Yeah, you're uh, welcome, Philip. Armen Avadian on behalf of Glendale Association of Realtors. It's really a pleasure uh, and it's a, an honor to receive this. It's logical, a uh, beautiful city maintains its value, the homes, the schools and everything. So realtors are absolutely in favor of that and whatever we can do uh, within our powers to help the city remain beautiful, remain, remain respectable and prestigious. Realtors are committed to it and we team up with this committee and we're, it's a pleasure to be here. So thank you on behalf of the Glendale Association of Realtors. So now we have the distinct honor of meeting our Volunteer of the Year award recipient. And um, it's not one person, it's the entire Luna family, their friends, and their neighbors. Just I wanted to say thank you to Sandra, Sandra Rodriguez and every members of the city. And uh, I told to my members to thank you so much. You and everybody here and outside no, not here. Uh, volunteers are, are uh, angels in the earth. Thank you. Throughout tonight's event, we've seen some of the most spirited volunteers throughout the city of Glendale. We'd like to thank you all for joining us at this event and we we'll hope to see you all next year. Don't forget to keep volunteering, keep the Verdugos green and Glendale clean. Congratulations to everyone who was recognized at the awards dinner. And thank you once again for all your support. For more information about other volunteer opportunities, please visit cleanupglendale.org. And if you'd like to sponsor our upcoming programs and projects, please contact me at 818-548-2877 for more information. Well, that's all the show we have for you today. If you liked this episode of NSTV, you can watch this and past episodes at youtube.com slash glendaleclean. Plus, be sure to stay on top of the latest neighborhood services news and subscribe to our electronic newsletter, which is jam-packed with information about upcoming events, volunteer opportunities, and important updates on quality of life issues. Visit the Neighborhood Services website to sign up. You can also connect with Glendale Clean and Beautiful online on Facebook and Twitter at Glendale Clean. Until we see you again, please remember to keep the vertigos green and Glendale Clean. For NSTV, I'm Sandra Rodriguez. And I'm Jason Webb. Thanks for watching. Hi there, Jewel City. I'm Sandra Rodriguez. And I'm Jason Webb. He's going. <laughs> I'm sweating. We'll take you. You're going too fast. <laughs> yeah, we're just taking out the blood. Funding for this program was made possible by Glendale Clean and Beautiful.